Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Joey Biagas and I'm a digital media expert. And today I'm gonna to show you how to access your iTunes library over your Wi-Fi from your iPhone. All right, so first we need to focus on iTunes. So let's go ahead and open up iTunes if you haven't already. First we need to go up to the top left-hand corner, go to iTunes and then go down to preferences. Okay, and then you wanna make sure you're on the sharing tab and you wanna make sure that you have share my library checked off. And of course, share entire library, or if you wanna select just a certain playlist, but I'm just gonna go with share entire library. Okay, and then I'm gonna go down to okay. Hit okay, perfect. Okay, and then there's one other thing we have to do in iTunes, which is go to the top, go to file, go down to home sharing, and then you wanna turn on home sharing. Okay, mine is already on, but uh, let me just turn it off for a second. Go back to file, go down to home sharing, turn on home sharing. It's gonna ask you for your Apple ID, okay? So you just wanna type in your password and hit turn on, and that's it, you just hit done. But we're not quite done yet. We need to go to our iPhone here, and uh, let's unlock this. Now what we need to do is we need to go to settings, and let's, Scroll down to music. Awesome. And then you also want to make sure that you're signed into home sharing at the bottom down here. Okay. So I've already signed in with my Apple ID. That way it matches each other as far as my computer and my phone. Okay. So I can close this out. Now open up your music app and wherever that is on your phone. Mine's right here. Music. Okay, so once you have that open, you want to go to more on the right bottom side. And then you'll see shared at the bottom. You just click on shared. And then you'll see your iTunes library, which is right here. You can tap on that and it'll take a second to load. And that's basically it. This is all my iTunes playlists. So that's pretty much it, guys. There's not much to it. All you have to do is make sure are correct inside of uh, iTunes as well as your phone and sign into your Apple ID. But if you do have any other questions, please let us know and thank you for watching.